to the article, do games like Grand Theft Auto V cause real world violence? Each day in this country, 30 people are murdered with a gun, 162 more are injured, and 53 use a gun to commit suicide. Most of these homicides and suicides are triggered by video games. Video games created these days are packed full of violence and cause immensely negative effects on children and adults. In the Do Video Games Cause Real Violence article, it, it shows how some of the most tragic events that happened in the U.S. were caused by video games. According to Kane, the author of the article, he suggests that Columbine High School Eric Harris and Delane, De, Delane Kleppel, the Virginia Tech shooter, the Arizona shooter, the Jared Lee Launer, that Norway shooter, the Aurora shooter James Holmes, Sandy Hook shooter Adam, Adam Lanza, they're all described as being essentially addicted to video games. This evidence alone shows us that we need to take a lot of major actions. Some of the largest mass murders in the United States were promoted by just video games. I don't think this is right. Also, in the same article, Kane explains how that if video games are the cause for all these deaths, we would have a lot of killers in, a hand, in our hands in the future. He says that if there is truly a direct link between games and violent shootings, we will soon have 18 to 20 million killers in our hands. That's about 11,422 homicides and 19,392 suicides per year. These are the lives of Americans that are being taken due to, silly video, due to some silly video games. This can be changed. If we stop the use of violent video games, the number of homicides and suicides per year will dramatically drop. That is why we the people have to fight until we get what we want. Doing this will have a great impact on our country. Lastly, in the article, Hygiene Shootout, Guy Martin discusses about students in a school who play a game and take it so far as to follow their peers outside of school. In the article, Martin states, On a Wednesday, three of the four seniors, armed with Walgreens-issued water pistols, stopped out Cohen's house in a blue Toyota minivan. This is another big issue. If students are following each other outside of school for a warlike game, imagine what they will do in a real-life situation. Games like these can lead to future bombings and shootings. The main source of these real-life simulation games come from video games. That is why, if we ban violent video games, it can save us from having to deal with bigger future problems, such as bombings and shootings. Although video games might cause a lot of violence, hatred, and anger in the world, some people argue that it helps to stim stimulate the mind. And I personally agree, but stimulating the mind through video games can lead to bigger problems in the future. For example, in the article Hygiene Shootout, Guy Martin explains, the judge also makes a pie chart of death, the order of killing assignments, which he or she then distributes to the squads shortly before opening day. This shows us that these violent video games help stimulate the mind to help a person think more efficiently. But imagine what will happen if that same person carries out those traits in the future to perform violent attacks. The whole world would be in chaos. I used to think that violent video games were good, and I played them myself. But now, Scientific data has led me to believe the opposite. First of all, the video games are what caused some of the major mass murders in the U.S. Secondly, <coughs> video games are one of the highest causes of homicides and suicides in the country. Finally, real-life video games, which come from violent video games, promote stalking and other dangerous activities that can carry on into older age and cause more damage. Although playing video games can, help, can stimulate the mind and help with hand-eye coordination, it can also cause a lot of horrible events. As a nation, we have to stop the production of video games in order to, to decrease the violence by gamers who play these types of games.